25-year-old Anton wants to know if there's anything else he can introduce into the bedroom. What's up, sex pod? What's up, Anton? What's your question for sex pod today? How I'm married with my wife. I was just wanted to see how I can make my sex life better and add a little more flavour to it. What kind of flavour are you after? Barbecue flavour. We're flaming hot. Do you always do the same things when it comes to sex? Yes. At the moment, yes. How do you get each other in the mood? I watch a lot of uh, R&B. So, yeah, I like to get in the flow of things, put on a little love song. Last in to see Sex Pod, Anton, let's get you out of that comfort zone and over to our experts. In long-term relationships, sometimes things get a bit stagnant and boring. People get into what I call a rude team, where sex is just the same every time. And it can stop feeling as exciting after a while. A good tip for keeping sex exciting in a long-term relationship is to change the scenery. So go and have sex somewhere else. You know, booking a hotel can be great for the weekend, just getting out of your natural scenery. Another great tip for keeping things uh, good in a long-term relationship is to play around with roles. So you can uh, play around with sort of dominant, submissive roles, um, and that can really add an element of excitement to the bedroom. There's nothing to share. It's fun. It's really good fun. Role play allows you to pretend to be somebody else for a little while, to set free a different aspect of your character that wouldn't usually be seen. Uh, it's a lot about the build-up to sex and indulging in being the character that you've taken on for a little while. Yeah, I tried to put more role play into it and be another character except myself. Just out of interest, what would your first go-to role play scenario be? It has to be something about love, so it would probably be Romeo and Juliet. You know that's a tragedy, don't you? Yeah, but there's always love. Good luck, Romeo. And you, sex pod. <laughs> Thanks, Anton. Now it's time for SexPod to unplug for the night. SexPod. Well, the advice that he gave me, truly I have not used it yet because I think my performance that I'm doing at the minute is going well. But I will be using a role play in my further future with my wife as I'm going to be married for her to a many, many, many years to come. But thank you again for having me on your show. And I will let you know how it goes in the near future. Do some role plays, Romeo and Juliet. Hi, Sex Pod.